So I'll tell you what, I have the girls running after me driving this. You've cheered me up, Russell, because I was having a bad day. So I can fair to say to put the sold board in the window because this car is going to be going to its new owner. Fingers crossed we get a deal done on that one today. So basically, mate, we've just got this BMW and I sourced it for a customer, all right? Yeah. They come in today at one o'clock and now we've had it washed. I've just noticed a few light scratches, all right, down here, yeah. along here. So if we can spend the next hour mopping that, all right? And then we also need to change the center cap. So they need to look a bit untidy. I've just had the wheels refurbished. Yeah, it just makes the car look finished perfectly, you know? So if you want to pop them out to start with, replace the center caps. So it looks 10 times better. Give it a mop down this side. Uh, only a light mop, we've got just light, faint scratches, all right? Yeah. Just so it looks the best it possibly can for the guy that I've sourced it for, right? Perfect, Perfect. thank you, mate. Just phoned me up today and he's coming to view our A45 AMG. Yellow night edition, very nice car, very rare. I can't see him not buying it. It's backed up a full Mercedes history and it's in remarkable condition. So fingers crossed, we get a deal done on that one today. Because he's paid 500 pound deposit, I then go add, add payment. It'll be add payment, wouldn't it? He's already made. So he made a payment today. What? So I'll tell you what, I have the girls running after me driving this. So we're just putting this one on the ramp for inspection. It's going for its pre-delivery inspection. Every car we buy into stock before it goes to its new owner, goes on the ramp, has a full inspection before the customer takes it away. So fingers crossed it passes. In May last year, like yep. this year, May this year, um, run around base, um, and then I've actually moved abroad now for work. So okay, yeah. what do you want to happen? I'm in in the process. My finance company are emailing me a final um, yeah, the settlement figure, statement. figure. Yeah, yeah, settlement statement, and then I just want rid. I, I've, I've moved abroad, so I'm not using it. Just sat there sending messages that my battery's getting low. Right, so, okay. So, there's no point in having it. <laughs> no. Um, it's just on my parents' driveway at the moment. So sure. it's just pain in the ass. We can either buy it off you, but obviously that'd be a trade yeah. value around between 20 yeah. and 21, or yeah. we can sell it for you and we take 2,000 pounds commission for selling it. So if we achieve yeah. the 25 and a half, which I believe it would get for it, you would get returned to yeah. 23 and a half. So you're going to be three and a half yeah. grand better off if we do all the hard work yeah. for you. Perfect. Cheers, mate. I'll wait and hear from you, mate, and hopefully we can do some business. Yeah, yeah hopefully, mate, hopefully. Fantastic. All right then, Matt, thanks for pulling back. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Bye-bye. So we had a customer kept come out to view this vehicle three days ago, left a deposit and he said, I will go ahead with the car as long as I can have an AA inspection. So the guy from AA just came out to our dealership, give it a full inspection, which the customer paid for. We have no objections to anybody getting an inspection on any of our cars. We are as true and honest as we can be. The AA man said it's a lovely car. So I can fair say to put the sold board in the window because this car is going to be going to its new owner. So, if you do like one of our cars but are unsure on it, you're more than welcome to get any company to come out and inspect it. We're more than happy to do so, all right, guys? Mm -hmm. 
beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Life's beautiful. So this is our pre-delivery inspection sheets. Uh, every vehicle comes with one of these. We print them out and then put them in the vehicle ready for when um, Dave, our mechanic, goes through all the vehicles. Uh, so it checks things like uh, tire depths and pressures and everything like that. It just goes for a, a full check of all the vehicles before they go out to the customers. Um, this sort of protects us as a business because when the customers come, they come and sign this and they verify that they're happy with the vehicles but also works on the customer side as well, because if there's something on here that isn't right, then they can come back to this and say, look, you said this when it was that. Oh, I don't know. They're in a massive rush and they've got to get back to the football, but that didn't fucking help, did it? Uh, so unfortunately this customer's just been out on a test drive and it's come up with an engine light. Um, this is a vehicle that we've actually driven quite a lot ourselves, so it's quite a surprise that this has happened. And I've just plugged it in and it's coming up with an uh, air system EGR issue. So it looks like this one's going to be going back to Dave. I've got service history from London and since Peter's had it. At so Porsche or? Specialist, no. Specialist, okay. But, but the West London Porsche, I've got the service book for that. But it was serviced in Prague. Okay. The tennis player backwards and forwards. That's why I bought it because it was, yeah. And cool. She was, uh, I've got a name list. I've got a few of these. <laughs> Forty-seven thousand two hundred and fifty-six miles on the dash. It does say no navigation module is connected, so I might need a disc for that one. I'll have to look into that. I don't think in the advert I actually said it had satellite navigation because I didn't see it on the screen. Also, it's got the full-size spare wheel in the boot with a Continental tire. Like I said, it's got a pit. It's got the button that says Navi, which means it did have sat nav. But sometimes you have to pay at the dealership to have the sat nav. A lot of them come standard with it set up ready to go, but they don't pay for the actual. But to be honest with you, the navigation's rubbish on them. They are, you're much better using your phone. Exactly. So I guess it hasn't got reverse camera on it. No, it doesn't. Sensors, yeah. Correct, yeah. 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 Let's have a look, mate, if I can do it at that price. Oh, I'm all right, mate. Well, I've had a chat with my business partner. If you come today, left a deposit, we can do it for 7,300. That's knocking, obviously, another 200 quid off the price of the car. You won't be disappointed. It will be the cleanest one in the country for that year, trust me. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll literally wander down. I'll, I'll be sort of 10, 15 minutes and I'll give you a deposit of whatever you want. Okay, buddy, what we'll do, we'll do 300 quid and it'll round, uh, sorry, uh, 200 quid, then we'll round it to yeah, seven grand when you turn up. Wonderful. Okay, I'll be. Literally minutes and I'll, I'll do it. Okay, buddy, perfect. What's the best time to pick it up, today or tomorrow? Right, we're here now till six o'clock if you want to come. I've got an indoor showroom so you can see it inside in the light. Yeah, you might know that, aren't we? Um, oh, yeah, it's only 2.36, isn't it? Yeah, yeah actually, it's not late. Actually, we might come down now, actually, yeah, so tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Let me um, go and grab my debit card and I'll give you a deposit. All right, perfect, Russell. See you in a minute. Cheers, Two babe. Minutes. Thank right, you. Bye. You've cheered me up, Russell, because I was having a bad day. Thank you for watching so four of Dorset Prestige Cars. You can subscribe on YouTube, Dorset Prestige Cars. If there's anything you'd like to see, please just put in the comments and we're happy to, to provide you as much content as we can to give an insight what it's like to live a life of a car dealer. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah.